Hello, Lola. Hey, Lola. Well, if you're new to this channel, you're probably like, what is a Lola? So every now and then I have to refresh your memory. Yas. So Lola's are you guys that are watching because it was inspired by a book that I was reading and actually the girl name was Lila. I stand corrected, but I couldn't remember. I thought her name was Lola. So I like the fact that she would peep into these people windows and she would make up stories of what she thought their life was and who she thought they were just by watching their um, movement, you know, in the night, in the morning when she watched with her binoculars, you know. And so I feel like as a YouTube creator, influencer, originator it gets mm, 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 mm. okay anyway uh, I feel like that's what I do I let you guys look in my window and you guys paint a picture of me of what you think I am or who you think I am and what you think I do no matter how transparent I try to be about who I really am the person behind the camera you guys will still make up your own stories and believe what you believe that I am so that's why I call you guys Alola because we are nosy watchers anyway in a good way all right so today I have winter winter is uh okay okay let's not do this again Louisa Sculpted by Lillian Breville, poured by Claritella Dolls. And she's poured in the soft silicone. She has elbow armatures and she has a drinking wet. Okay? So that is Louisiana. No, it's not Louisiana, it's Louisa. Okay? Okay. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about, apparently I've already got her dressed, but I'm going to talk to you guys about her. She is not fully rooted. Although she looks like it. So I started rooting her before I started rooting my Finn, which was Luca, which is now Adonis. <laughs> and I had to stop. So she had gotten a good ways in. And then I started back rooting her some more. And I decided to kind of just clip her hair just a little bit, just... Just a little bit, not much, just so I could see what it would look like and see what the curl pattern would would be um yeah so i did that and let me see something uh, there's a meeting in my okay i was saying if the light would make her show up a little bit more her actual color anyway she's a little bit more rosy than what she shows but i can't help you guys there so anyway um, she, what was that? Oh, so I have not finished rooting her, but I wanted to stop because I'm working on a custom baby and I wanted to, uh, spend a little bit more time on that job. And so I stopped rooting her. And so I said, you know, what? I'm gonna give her a bath and dress her up so I can play with her and hold her because as you guys know I only have her and Phoebe as my silicone babies oh and Jasper which is really really little he's not no nothing you can hold really um he's like 14 inches but he's you know 14 inches can be different you know 14 inches can be very different <laughs> because um He's 14 inches, but Penelope was 15 inches, but he's very petite. And sometimes that's why when people be like, oh, they're 19 inches, they're 15 inches, they're 17 inches. I don't care about the inches, okay? I don't care. I don't care because it all depends on how they look and how they're if they're, they're, they're really tiny and skinny like a Barbie doll or are they full and thick like a you know actual preemie baby and so you know it makes a difference if they're micro preemie or they're preemie because Piper is micro preemie so to speak but she has more to her than you know and she's 15 inches she looks way bigger than um Jasper in fact 
if you guys want to see one video, I will put Jasper next to Piper and show you just how different 14 to 15 inches can look. So anyway, five minutes in and I haven't got to the point of the video. So I was thinking about it because I've been talking about reborns, reborns, reborns. So we do have the silicone babies that are wonderful. Oh, mama, I didn't, you got hair on you. All right, so here's the thing with the silicone babies. So everybody's like, what's the big hype about them? I don't see, you know, they're sticky, everything stick to them. You gotta be all extra careful. They get tears, they get rips, the paint come off. You know, the hair falls out, it can't be sealed. You hear all these horrible things about these little lovely little booga booga rugas. Look at this little squish, squish, squish. Um, you hear all these cons. And then you hear some people that talk about them and glorify them and over glorify them sometime even. Um, but I'm here to tell you guys what I like about silicone, what I love about silicone, why silicone babies are so, so important to the, the dollar collecting part of my life. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, her little flop. Look at that little flop, 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 flop. Now, mind you, she's, her neck is not as loose as some of the others. They, it's, it does wobble. It does turn. Um, it's just that part is into the sculpting, though. It has nothing to do with the, the level of the softness. It is part of the sculpting. Okay? Some people do, you know, they sculpt their babies differently and they believe it or not it makes a difference in the way they cuddle and the way that they they bend and they fold and they you know curve into you and all that stuff sculpting does matter i don't care <laughs> didn't care what you do you could put it in noodly soft and if the baby is sculpted like a real baby okay if it's sculpted like a real baby it's still gonna look like a real baby without buns but if the baby is not sculpted nicely like a real baby and it's sculpted and it's poured like a noodle, then it's gonna look like just like a noodle, okay? Otherwise, it's gonna look like a noodle baby, okay? You got the difference, a noodle baby and just a noodle. So I'd rather have a noodle baby than a noodle, okay? Say that with me, noodle. You want a noodle? Okay, anyway. <laughs> Baby, I need some coffee because someday right with me. Coffee calls me down just so you know versus other people where it hypes them up and wake them up. It puts me to sleep. So, okay. Anyway, so yeah, so the, the, the silicone, they just feel so babyish and so nice. And I love my reborns. And if they're weighted nicely, they can really fall and, you know, just really, really, you know, cuddle nicely and everything and so of course i love my reborns for that but the silicone <sighs> silicone they, you know when you touch them i mean it's just they they feel really really nice um they have the ability look at that little open mouth you don't have to worry about clipping the passy or anything just you know they take a full passy and this like this little bubby she she will pee her pants. And I mean, some people are like, that is childish. If I want a baby alive, I'll go buy a baby alive. And I absolutely agree. It is very childish, but I have a child living inside of me. One that I like to entertain. Okay, maybe it's not a child. Maybe I just, maybe I'm looking at it from a different angle or perspective. Maybe I'm actually remembering what it feels like when you're holding your baby and they start to wet their diaper and you're like, oh my gosh. <sighs> I'm gonna have to do a diaper change because that warm, you know, you, their diapers start to warm or whatever, and that just adds a little bit more realism to it. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with you not wanting it, okay? Now, there's something wrong when you start putting all kinds of stuff in it and it be smelling like sour eggs and stuff and ruining your doll, but that's your business and your money if you wanna ruin it and you wanna mess it up and monk it up and funk it up, then that's on you. I ain't judging. I'm just saying I ain't doing it. I ain't messing up my money. Hmm. I had to climb a lot of poles, baby, for these babies. Anyway, um, so, yeah, so silicone, that's, it has that. And then, look, 
I don't have to worry about if like sometimes her clothes might be a little too big, but that's okay. Cause she's full body. Full body. Baby got body yaddy 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 yaddy. And um so anyway, seriously, on a serious note, I love silicone because of the ability to dress them in almost anything I want. They can have no straps, they can go shirtless. Um I love when they're soft. They can just pose all cutesy. Look at that. Look at that little baby. Come on now. Y'all can't tell me y'all don't like that. So, I mean, it is it's definitely amazing. Oh, I love this hand. This is my favorite hand of hers. So, and she'll kind of put this in her mouth here. There we go. And so sometimes I want to show her a little cloth off. I'll like push her little thing over. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see what y'all see. Let me. Can I see what you see? Can we see what you look at that? I love that. I love that. Full body silicone babies is amazing. And I don't want to take away from my reborns because I absolutely love them. But this is the part that sets them apart from the reborns. Is that they look like a whole baby. Like they are whole. Like they they have everything. They're anatomically correct. There's no cloth. There's no belly plate falling off or you having to keep adjusting it or hiding the sides of the tummy plate. It is all one solid piece. It is amazing. It is amazing. And different pores pour different and everybody have their preference if they like softer or firmer it doesn't really matter in silicone i won't lie even the firmer baby full body has that that realistic you know feel going on so she got the back most of the back right here done. look see the top the top is out child look that baby is born look at that so she we just we 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 getting now we getting now but I don't want to get out with all that hair all over again. So it's going to be a while. I just I just needed a baby to cuddle, guys. I've been just like, I want to hold her. Like, you know, I just wanted to hold her, dress her. And I'm so excited that she's getting here. It's like I'm so close to being able to put her on all the little clothes that I bought for her. Like probably how long it's been since I've had winter. I don't know. But I'm finally being able to put her on some of the clothes now this wasn't one that i bought for her but it just looks so cute on her and so when i get through i'll look her over and i might touch up a shine spot or so that she have on there i might not i might not bother with it um you know silicone is just it's amazing it's not a flawless um what do you call a medium it's not, you know, when you get a vinyl kit, the vinyl kit is smooth. It doesn't come with any type of flaws or discrepancy in the vinyl, typically. If it does, it's a defect. You send it back and return and get another one type situation. But it's not, silicone does not come like that. Silicone sometimes comes, it might have a bubble. It might have a little small tear that you have to repair. It might have unevenness. It might have a a, a a patch of where the color, where the sculptor, when they poured it, they had to patch it and it don't quite blend with the rest of the silicone. You know, it could come with a little bit of roughness here or there or something. I don't typically, typically like to buy from those that sell those like that unless I knowingly buy it as a boo-boo baby and I have done that at least twice. Um, but, you know, it's... It's, it's not a perfect thing. And when you're painting, it's not as perfect as and seamless as some of the Reborns can be. Because some of the Seamless Reborns, they don't be seamless either. Let's be honest. I mean, this is handmade art. Some may call it art. Some may call it craft. Whatever the hell it is, it's handmade. And handmade means it's not going to be perfect. Because if you are perfect, then you are... Okay, y'all fill in the blank. But anyway that's what I love about the silicone I love soft silicone I know people say it doesn't have bones I don't care I don't want it to have bones it don't have to have bones you know we like what we like if you like it firmer fine you like it firmer that's great I have friends that prefer the firmer 
I have friends that prefer the sloppy, noodly, googly. I do think there's a point where it's too soft for me, but I live on the edge. <laughs> okay? Okay. Um, I do have my preference and who I think so far that I've experienced that have the best, you know, pour and color of the silicone and stuff but that's just my personal preference and my personal preference does not have to be yours we don't have to agree on that do we puka wooka so yeah but yeah so she got on her little look oh little little pampy a oh, little pampy oh and that's another thing right so louisa don't have like this perfect diaper balm or whatever but look at her you put on a little diaper and she looks just cute and she looks like she got the cutest little diaper bum, right? Um, these dolls aren't perfect. The sculpting is never going to be perfect. There's always going to be something you don't like. It's the deal breaker for you. Not what your friends think, not what your, your, your spouse think, you know, it's what is the deal breaker for you. It's what makes you fall in love with the doll. Um... For me, there are some things I can escape past and override, and there are some things I, I can't. Like, I don't like really curled up, balled up legs. I hate them. I hate legs in weird, awkward positions in silicone because you're stuck with it that way. You know what I mean? Like, you can't. Silicone is not like vinyl reborns where you can twirl the leg up or twirl it down. I, it, you can't do that with silicone. Once. It, whatever position the baby is in for the most part you you're pretty much stuck you know granted without like you know the armatures or the soft silicone now you can you know lift it up or pull it down look at that hair it's a mess <laughs> it's because it's not like I said it's not um fully done or cut or anything so but yeah so it's it's um girl do you have a rash <laughs> okay never mind I'm like, did she have a rash? But I forgot, I, I went in and I put a little, like a little bruising right here. I, and that's that's the thing, my personal babies, I like little stuff like that, little bruising and markings and veining and bumpies and all that stuff. And you know, I don't do it as much on babies that I think I'm gonna sell because everybody don't like that. But anyway, I, I even have, I do it on my silicones too now. I do a lot of little little things to them now um because i'm not so afraid of it in, in their mind but yeah so silicone it it's, it's very expensive but it's so worth it um when you get one that you love like i i, I love them like i if they wasn't so expensive i would collect a lot of silicone to be honest but but then maybe not, maybe not, maybe I wouldn't because there's not much out there to choose from that, you know, within my likes, I guess I should say. But anyway, that's my spill on silicone. I think silicone definitely still has its place in the market. I just don't think that it will take over and shut down reborns like I once thought, because I really thought at one point that everybody was going straight silicone and people wouldn't buy reborns or reborns wouldn't have such an importance in the industry um, over time but it appears that um, that they that it do it does it it still has its place um, here. it still has its place in in today's market which is pretty cool because I thought at one point that everybody was going silicone crazy and that reborns would just be done um so yeah anyway um I still learn it too she has two different blends of hair in her head because the first hair that I was using I like the color a lot and I think it's nice hair, but I was told that it was curly, but I don't think that it's curly as I was told. So um, I've kind of blended it with some other mohair that I'm more, 
used to and that's just that it's like it's hard to find curly mohair i don't know like do they not have black goats or what i'm just kidding um but yeah it's just it's it's harder to find the curly curly hair nice curly mohair and that's why a lot of people are putting human hair in their newborns and stuff because they can't find curly mohair i don't particularly like human hair in my small baby's head i think the follicles are too thick is that the follicles i don't know but i think it's too thick uh, the strands are too thick i think that it i don't know it just doesn't give me baby like mohair mohair is more thin and i guess you could get some really nice expensive really super fine human hair maybe and make it work um it looks good but i just i personally prefer mohair in my smaller babies um unless you really trying to get that afro afro look and then even then i like the look but i don't necessarily love it as the feel but that's just me and my personal opinion um i just i prefer mohair but anyway i'm gonna go and um, she doesn't look good with a pacifier, guys. So you probably won't see her with a pacifier as much other than just as a prop. Um, she just doesn't look good with a pacifier. I haven't found one that looks good on her yet, but we'll see. Um, Phoebe got a pacifier right now. It's so funny. She's in my room and she's like holding the pacifier like this. So if somebody walks in there, they're going to be like, oh my gosh, that's so cute. She's holding her pacifier but yeah anyway that is that i love my little louisa love her little lips love her little life oh wait she's a doll she doesn't have a life we have to keep saying that because people think we think they're real when we absolutely don't we know they're not real but anyway they're real to us so anyway that's it um let me guys let me know what you guys think i know this video is crazy but oh well so it is, so it is. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.